In September 2022, five red heifers were flown from the state of Texas into the occupied lands. They paid around $100,000 for each cow. Since last year, one of these cows have been disqualified, but the other four cows continue to be suitable candidates for the sacrifice. To better understand what this ritual is, we must look at what is stated in their scripture regarding it. In the book of Numbers chapter 19, it is stated that, And the Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, This is the ordinance of the law which the Lord has commanded, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, that they bring you a red heifer without spot, wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came yoke. And you shall give her to Eleazar the priest, that he may bring her forth without the camp, and one shall slay her before his face, and Eleazar the priest shall take of her blood with his finger, and sprinkle of her blood directly before the tabernacle of the congregation seven times. And one shall burn the heifer in his sight, her skin, and her flesh, and her blood, with her dung, shall he burn. And the priest shall take cedar wood, and hyssop, and scarlet, and cast it into the midst of the burning of the heifer. The red heifer is a female bovine which has never been pregnant or milked or yoked, also known as the red cow. It was brought to the priests as a sacrifice according to the Torah, and its ashes were used for ritual purification. According to their rabbis, since the time of Moses, only nine red heifers have been sacrificed. The last time one was sacrificed was just before the second temple was destroyed by the Romans on the Mount of Olives opposite to the Temple Mount. According to their rabbis, when the tenth cow is to be sacrificed, they will enter into the age of Dajjal. But to them, he will be their awaited Messiah. The Temple Institute is preparing for this event to take place soon. After the sacrifice takes place, you will see an unprovoked attack against Al-Aqsar like never before. Their intentions are utter destruction, to the point in which they can commence building the Temple of Dajjal on top of the ruins of Al-Aqsar. They believe once the third temple is completed, it will speed up the coming of their Messiah, known to Muslims as the Dajjal, who will deceive the entire world except those who have true faith in their Creator. The true believers will see through the deception and lies and will not be manipulated. It is clear that the end times are getting closer, and the solution is to connect with our Creator unlike ever before. Once the connection is established, the guidance will come from the source of all guidance.